Ah, uh, the Christian Brothers Campus, circa 2021. The tedious safely checks of the morning, the long, long COVID testing line of the afternoon. At lunch, you can see the students group together and settle across the lawn to socialize while they eat. Some classes are full and lively, while others, wait, most of the senior population is missing. Where could they be? Uh, hello? Digital learning? School from the comfort of your own home? Of course most of the seniors would choose to be part of the C cohort. C cohort? What do their days look like? Why don't we let them show us? Senior video vlog. Alexa, stop. So it's about 8.07 on, on Tuesday right now. Normally I wouldn't get up until about 8.29, you know, right before school. Sorry, Miss Mundo. But <laughs> this week I'm actually going back in person. So this is my first day in person actually having to get up. First thing I do, obviously, wake up, go to my desk. And because it's an A set day, I'm going to be doing the morning announcements. So I, I find the bulletin board and I, I read off of it. Um, and then I will be paired later with my partner, Will Tushinsky. Good morning, CB, and here are your morning announcements. But normally on a day, I just get dressed all normally, and now I go get breakfast. And if I actually eat breakfast, which <laughs> a lot of the time, oops, I, I don't really, but the, today I'll probably have a bowl of cereal. I log into my anatomy class, but because I can't sit still, I go downstairs and I, I start making myself breakfast. Um, my friend Peter Jenis got me a bag of avocados because he knows I like that for breakfast. He got them for my birthday. So I'm gonna use these birthday avocados to make a breakfast and I'm just gonna assemble random things. After that, I uh, come upstairs. Usually anatomy is over by then. Um, I brush my teeth. Um, I go to my sock drawer and I pick out one of my many socks. I have Bigfoot socks, I have Pulp Fiction socks, I have millions of different pairs. Um, let's see, today I got Raptor socks on. Thank you very much, Bill. Very informative. How are the academics in this pandemic altered world? first class and then he had us go independently work on something but it's not due until the next class so I usually don't work on it until the night before the next class because I'd rather watch TV or do other things. Okay my favorite class right now Are you I'd have Eccles? to go with Leperini. I am oh, in Eccles. Oh Lep's kind of good uh, but Eccle wrote my letter of Rex so I have to say him. Okay, she's required. There's a contract. She has to say I'm contractually that. obligated. I then go to CSET, my Gov class with Mr. Leparini. The class is really short and it's filled with Leparini's amazing dad jokes. I apologize that I didn't get any footage of this class. I get really caught up in it and it's really fun. Um, it's my favorite of the ASET day classes. That was it? That's all I had to say about the actual school part of school? You know, teenagers, it's, it's the end of the year. Something about senioritis, I don't know. <sighs> okay then, what could they possibly have recorded more footage about? It's lunchtime. It's my first day back. Aww. Cohort B. Um, it's my first day back too. See, seniors are coming back. Seniors, seniors need to come back. Oh. Uh, it looks like Bill doesn't eat lunch. Well, what does Sophie's look like? I bought lunch in the cafeteria, got a grilled cheese, I dipped it in ketchup. Do you dip your grilled cheese in ketchup? That was a, that was a point of contention. So that, that's a big debate. Lost a few friends just now, but you know, we'll get over it. Um, and yeah, that's lunch. After 
after I finish my last class, I usually try to go on a walk, but it was about to rain, so I figured I'd jump rope. So I did that, and now it's raining, so didn't get to finish that, but, you know, just getting out and moving my body after school outside. Helps me kind of separate the day. So it's after school. I'm sitting in my car outside of my soccer practice at Granite. It's raining. If you can't hear that, it seems like it'll be pretty loud. But um, I was listening to the song Midnight by Logic on the way here. Pretty good song. I recommend it. But, you know, usually I would be at either high school soccer or this is club soccer. And that's pretty much daily right now. I just finished Game of Thrones last night. So I have no idea what's left in life or what life has to offer. So I'll probably just stare at a corner in the dark for a good couple of hours and like, you know, repeat lines from that show that I like. Maybe I'll like write on the wall my own name and, you know, like smear my hand in blood. Anyways, then I'll probably help my mom with dinner um, because I'm awesome, I'm so good. No, I don't usually help my mom with dinner, but I'm gonna play that up for the cameras as if I'm a good person. And then I'm going to stay up late FaceTiming people, probably playing video games. Huh. Frightening as always, Bill. But interesting nonetheless. That's one way to put it. Oh man, we're just about at the end of the day. What do students do once they're free from school? That's kind of the hard part is I've been asked to talk about my night routine, but I don't really know what I do. It's not a set thing. I'm always doing different things, so... Um, we're going to check in with our night correspondent, Night Bill. Night Bill? Thanks, Day Bill. Well, it's currently 1044 at night, but I guess that's where I shine best. <laughs> so we're just going to go over what I've been doing for a while. Um, so, you know, I uh, trudged around in my pajamas, just walked around the house shuffling. And then I, uh, I ate a bunch of tacos, which I will later regret from a waistline perspective. <laughs> it's not good for me or my heart. Uh, then I then I watched a movie. Other than that, I, I wasted a lot of time. Not a lot of not not a lot to do in quarantine. Since I literally just lay in my bed and watch TV all night, I figured I'd talk about a hobby I picked up this quarantine. So over quarantine, I've always loved moving my room around and moving my furniture around in my room. But over quarantine, I did it so much. I had my room rearranged at least 10 different ways since last March um, and the way I have it now is actually how it started out last March when everything went down. My life is and cyclical. I don't know if that's subconscious, me, I don't know, but I'm also conscious of it now so I guess no. <laughs> but yes, that's one of my hobbies that I picked up this quarantine. I don't even know if that's a hobby but yeah. Where's Desmond? Oh, he didn't have much to say about his night routine. I'm sure he has something good for us. Play the footage. I was just thinking about, just got just got rejected from UCLA. I'll be open about that. But I, I was just, I mean, obviously you don't feel good about it when you get rejected, but I was really thinking about how three years from now, I'm not gonna care that I got rejected from anywhere because I feel like the place you go to, as long as you go to it with an open mind and excited and you're not Constant, constantly asking yourself, oh, what if, or how would this event be at whatever school, whatever my dream school was. Like if you really, if you really go into it with an open mind and wanting to enjoy it, then I think you're not gonna have any regret about not making your top school or not getting into the place you wanted to go. At the end of the day, you're gonna have fun wherever you go, as long as you try and have fun wherever you go. And you, and you just really live, live with an open mind, but anyways, this is my last clip. I'll see you guys. Live with an open mind. Wise words, Mr. Greer. In a year full of what-ifs, regrets, and bitterness, that's easier said than done. I understand where you're coming from, but you're speaking from a teenager's perspective. What do you mean? May I share some advice with you from one much older generation to another? In my opinion, you all have incredible potential. And yes, your journey has just begun. As you travel through the many scores of years ahead of you, remember that you are on one long, unscripted journey. A journey that has many episodes in it, some of them definitely unforeseeable. The most important thing to remember is that you really won't understand some portions of your travels until you have completed them, and only then can you look back and see and understand what really transpired. 
But while you are on this long, unscripted journey, make sure you occasionally stop and look back to see how far you have traveled and do your best to understand what you've experienced. Know that it's okay to make mistakes as you journey forward. We all do. Make sure you learn from these mistakes and make sure you forgive yourself for them. Most importantly, don't travel on this journey alone. As best said in the movie, Into the Wild, happiness only real when shared. Make sure you take friends with you on your journey. It won't be the same or as enjoyable and exciting without them. The world will definitely know your generation. I don't think I'm the only one who needed to hear that. Are you crying? Yeah, of course I am. I cry easy. But is it a good cry? I think... Yeah. Yeah, for the first time in a good while. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your lives, all of you. Cheers to the class of 2021. Cheers.